What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. In today's video, we're going to be doing a demonstration on using the number one Bitcoin decentralized wallet called Xverse. Using Xverse to buy your first Rune token. More specifically, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to buy the dog Rune token, which to me is the number one meme coin and Rune coin on top of Bitcoin. So, this is why you really want to understand why Xverse is something that you need to have in order to buy these runes. So, what we're going to learn is how we're going to buy Rune tokens through a secondary marketplace using. X first, but also how you can buy a specific rune token, especially dog, within the app of X first using their swap. So I highly recommend that you show this video to anybody that has not used X first or has not bought any rune tokens. This is a video that's going to be very super and easy for them to understand. So before we begin, please smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel, and please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct message, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So I'm partnering up with Xverse because I really want all of you to understand why it's really important right now to download this specific app, but also to get exposure before we end up going into the next bull market for Bitcoin. When Bitcoin is going to go into its bull market cycle, you can expect the ordinals and especially rune tokens, which are built on top of Bitcoin, will also skyrocket as well. So when you go to Xverse, you need to type in the website xverse.app. It'll take you to this website and what you're going to do, you're going to click on the download button and you're going to download this extension wallet. Basically, it's a browser extension wallet that's going to show up on the upper right hand side and it's going to look something like this. This is the symbol that's going to show you that you have Xverse on your specific browser. I tend to use Google Chrome. Google Chrome for me has been an amazing browser to use Xverse. So once you get there, you're going to see something like this. Now, this is a burner wallet, which basically is a hot wallet where I'm just using this to test things and I'll talk about how you should have a cold storage wallet at the very end of the video. So here's where you're going to want to deposit Bitcoin. So you see this button right here, the receive. This is where you're going to want to send your Bitcoin. So this is the Bitcoin address right here. You can either choose this to copy the digit address or you can use a QR code. So if you're using Coinbase, Kraken, Crypto.com or any other different exchange, you just want to scan it. You can just scan this address right here and you can send your Bitcoin currency to this specific address. So I've already deposited 600 roughly dollars into my account. So we're going to go to a specific marketplace to buy our specific rune. And the place that we want to go to is magiceden.io. To me, this is one of my favorite marketplaces to buy rune tokens and ordinals. But specifically, we're going to be talking about rune tokens because on this Magic Eden website, it has an amazing UX and UI experience. So on the upper left hand, you'll see collections and runes. So once you arrive to the runes page, you're going to see all these different tokens. There are over 80,000 different ticker symbols within the rune ecosystem, but there's only one I want you to focus on, and that is Dog Under the Moon. We're going to use this specific rune token to purchase as an example, since I'm very bullish on this specific token. Now, before we end up buying our first Dog Under the Moon token, we're going to have to connect the wallet. So basically, when I go over to Magic Eden, it's asking us which Bitcoin wallet do we want to choose. Make sure to select Bitcoin. If it's selected on Solana or Ethereum, make sure to connect it to Bitcoin. Well, I'm going to go ahead and select Xverse. And it's going to ask me, am I using a ledger or am I using a hot wallet? Well, in today's video, I'm actually using a hot wallet. So I'll be going ahead and connecting this without connecting the ledger. So once I do that, it's going to ask for my permission. It's going to be simple. I just click connect and then I click the sign button and it will instantly sign me in and it will see that I have this amount of money or Bitcoin in my wallet, which is 0.01 Bitcoin. Now, Let's look at the prices. Now, on the right side, you're going to see the total amount that you're going to spend of how much dog room token that we're going to demonstrate in this video. Now, say, for instance, I want to spend one hundred and fifty two dollars in exchange for fifty thousand dog of the moon tokens. Now, it's going to be priced at five point one three sats. So once I click that, because that's how much I want to spend, it's going to ask me to approve this purchase. I'm going to click on the buy now button. It's going to ask me on my X first wallet if I want to confirm this purchase. And I'm going to be paying a network fee roughly around 88 cents. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and confirm. Then it's going to ask me, do I want to split this room now that my order has gone through? Now it says your order was broadcasted, meaning that the transaction may take a little longer than normal. It could take maybe a couple minutes, even five minutes. But it's asking me right here, do I want to split my runes? 
Technically, I don't want to. Sometimes when people buy a big lot, which is, for me, I bought in this video, roughly around 50,000, well, it's giving me the option to split it into two runes or even shorter. I can split into four lots, which would roughly be around 12,500 runes, which each would be around $38. But because I don't wanna do that in this video, it's completely fine. So I'm gonna do don't split right now. And that amount should arrive in my wallet roughly around five minutes, give or take, based on the Bitcoin network congestion, if there's any. Now, what's really important for you to understand is that when you're making multiple purchases, say for instance, if you're buying runes on Magic Eden and then you're about to do a swap with an Xverse, you can't do them right after another. It's because of UTXO, which is unspent transaction output. What does that exactly mean? It is basically, it's the amount of digital currency that remains after a transaction. And it can be thought of as the change you received after making a purchase. Now, the reason this is important is because you have to wait for the transaction to happen that you've just made a purchase, say for instance, in this video, which was Magic Eden. Because we made a purchase on Magic Eden just now, we have to wait for that transaction to go through for that to be broadcast completely and to be validated from validators from miners across Bitcoin before we end up making our next purchase especially within the Xverse swap option. Now that we finally made our first purchase buying Doggo to the Moon on the secondary marketplace, now we're gonna learn how to buy Doggo to the Moon within the app of Xverse. So when we scroll up to the icon of Xverse, you'll see that our recent dog purchase is showing up in our wallet. Now we're gonna go up to the top where it says swap. This is where we're going to buy Dog of the Moon with our Bitcoin within the app. So once I click on swap, it'll take me over here to the from and to sections. Now from is what currency you wanna make the purchase in. So this is the currency, which is Bitcoin that I'm going to be using to spend to buy my specific rune. Then you scroll over here to choose which type of rune that you wanna make your purchase swap for your Bitcoin. You could choose any of the other runes down below since there's a long list, but in this video, we're gonna choose Dog of the Moon. So what type of amount do I want to type in here just for this demonstration I'm going to choose 0.001 Bitcoin so that's roughly around $58 so I'm going to go ahead and click on get quote once I click on get quote it's going to tell me where I can swap this out for I can either choose an exchange which is dot swap or marketplaces such as Unisat or Magic Eden for the sake of this demonstration I'm just going to use dot swap now in here you're going to review what you're going to get for your $58, $59. So in exchange, I should roughly get around 20,000 of these dog rune tokens. You'll see the slippage fee, also the provider fee. And once I approve of all this, I'm gonna click swap. Once I click swap, then I'm going to confirm on the specific transaction. You can see that the network fee is around $1.62. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. And there you go. That's exactly how you're able to swap within Xverse, and it will show the transaction has been processed. If you ever wanna check where that purchase is being done at, you can always go back to Xverse. You can select on Bitcoin, and then as you can see here in the transaction history, you'll see the transaction that is pending. So you're sending the amount of Bitcoin, which was 0.001, and then I'll be receiving that specific rune. Now it's saying receiving ordinal, but don't worry, that's basically your purchase. It's gonna sooner or later show up in your wallet and will join here in the dog go to the moon or any other specific rune token. But keep in mind, everything that I just shared with you is on a hot wallet, which means that everything that you just saw as a demonstration was on something that is not on a ledger or cold storage. What we encourage on this channel is to protect your assets. If it's ordinals, runes, BRC20 tokens, or stacks, no matter what your digital asset on top of Bitcoin, please store it in a cold storage wallet. I highly recommend using a Ledger or Ledger Nano. This is a great company and Xverse has actually integrated Ledger with their Xverse decentralized wallet. And you can transfer all your assets over from your hot wallet over to your cold wallet or you just buy everything using your cold storage wallet and your Ledger Nano. And that allows you to basically secure your assets, protecting it for any hacks or any draining of your wallet. And I think that's really important to know. And I'll provide a link down in the descriptions below so as a conclusion and statement, I hope that this video has been very helpful for you to understand how to use Xverse, the number one leading decentralized Bitcoin wallet to buy rune tokens on Magic Eden, which is a secondary marketplace, which to me is one of my favorite marketplaces, but also how to swap instantly within the app of Xverse. 
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, please check out the Xverse page. I'll provide a link down in the descriptions below so you can begin your first ordinal and runes adventure. Until then, see you guys, girls, next time.